Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You <laughs> can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical mother dragon things that you do to me so well here at Tally Sarah. So, I'm going to slap down and see what he worth it. I'm looking good again today. Man, I am. I'm looking good. I don't know how I feel, though, but at least I look good. <laughs> oh, so good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, you know what time it is, baby. Mm -hmm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Dong, presiding. You can go ahead and do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> so, oh, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or... Whatever energy might be coming towards you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit that shit together just like we always do, baby. Yeah. And then I'm going to get lotion on because I look ashy. Yuck. How do I look? The older I get, it seems like the more lotion I need. It's like I get ashier every year. <laughs> What's going on? Mmm. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Show! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let me get out my protection seashell. Boy, I really wish I could show. This is a, one of my... I love this deck. It's so beautiful, Pisces. And I just can't share it no more. When I first started this channel, I was able to, but now I can't. Show! Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Pisces. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Oh, boy. Show! Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? We got some cards flying on out. I got it. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. I did not mean to sneeze in your ear. Oh, boy, I need more protection stones. This is a protection stone day today is all I can say. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, she's pretty much covered up, but. I can never be too sure here. Let me move. I still got one more card, guys. I know. I know. The, the extra cards came out today. I usually only do the three, but today it was... Oh, boy. This one's really going to need a lot of protection here. <laughs> <coughs> oh, boy. <coughs> I know. It's pathetic, right? <laughs> Look at all these cards with protection gels. <laughs> Oh, I love this deck, but I really hate protection on it. It's just not good. It's not like, you know, the cards are going to get pregnant. Lover's card. We've got the devil. We've got the seven of cups. We've got the queen of wands. We've got the five of cups. The overall energy for the reading is ten swords, okay? So, I can't show you that either. <laughs> but, in your person's energy... Something is ended, okay? This person is feeling a lot lighter. So I don't know. There's a light energy here with this Ten Swords here. It's like a relief, okay? So maybe your person got some Preparation H and got some relief here, okay? I don't know. Oh, Bailiff Louie, he's using his playing over there with his little paw. Well, it's really big, but it's cute. He likes playing. We've got the Lover's card down here on the table, okay? This Lover's card in this particular deck is the two of you are in love with each other. Very much in love here, okay? Pisces, I feel like this person is a very grounded person, okay? They're very grounded. The love between the two of you here, there's a lot of affection here, a lot of cuddling, a lot of emotions. I feel like somebody here is really just wanting to hold you. Somebody's so in love with you here. Not only are they in love with you, but this person with the obsession card wants to experiment with you freely. Mm -hmm. Yep, like a experimental soup here, okay? One that doesn't have a recipe here, okay? So basically this person wants to 
freely experiment with you. Wink, wink. <laughs> Seven of Cups. Okay, your person. Yep, is a confused fish here. Mm -hmm. Swimming all messed up sideways, missing a fin here, okay? You know what happens when a fish is missing a, a fin, right? They swim up to the surface and they're sideways swimming. So your person is a side swimmer. They're all over the place here. We've got the Queen of Wands energy. This could be their, your energy. This could be your person's energy here. But I feel like somebody has been talking to them and saying something to this Queen of Wands. That's what I'm getting. Five of Cups. Okay, somebody stepped out, okay, on another relationship here. Uh, something happened, though, okay? I really made this person upset, and uh, I feel like this person, like, punched holes in the wall. I feel like they threw dishes. I feel like they just got angry, and they just went the truck off here, okay? So somebody really messed up here. This is literally that. Somebody stepped out here. Okay, so this person's really upset about something. So what are they so upset with, with these Five of Cups? What is this person so upset with, with these Five of Cups? My brother. Hold on. I gotta get so many protection stones for this deck. This is just horrible, guys. I mean, really. Okay. Let's see if I can do... I don't know if I can do this maneuver here. Oh, boy. I'm good. Look at that. Look at me. I'm professional here at maneuvering around things. That is a raw piece of tiger's eye, by the way. If you did not know that, you do know. Okay. So why are they upset? Well, it seems like somebody told them something here. Oh, boy. So what did this, uh, what was said here that made this person so upset? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. What was said here that made this person so upset? Well, this is not good. <laughs> nope, it is not good. Somebody said something here about what about their desires here, okay? I feel like somebody said something to this person here, okay, that really made them upset. Told this person basically that, you know, you're a narcissist. Uh, you're a two-timer here, and basically at the end of the day, told this person that, uh, you know, you're like the neighborhood merry-go-round, right? This person goes to every single merry-go-round in your town, and they sit on the merry-go-round, and they wait for people to push them around, okay? So everybody's turning this person on the merry-go-round, so this person's had a lot of trips on all these merry-go-rounds here, and so... Basically, here has really made this person upset. I mean, really upset. I mean, this person has had every single cup that they could desire here. They've had the short, dumpy cup. They've had the tall, skinny cup, the oblong cup. At just everything here, okay? Somebody said something about this person being a little bit too busy here with their third leg, so to speak. The Triskelly is a symbol of the third leg. If you guys did not know that, well, you do now. So... That was said to this person. Somebody here. Somebody really ruthless said this to this person. That really pissed them off. Okay. So let's see why the Queen of Wands is here. Why is she here? Why is this Queen of Wands here? Okay. Yep. Queen of Wands. Why is she here? Well, this Queen of Wands here... Okay, so your person's coming through here, Queen of Wands energy here, okay? Feeling like they have been burnt here at the stake here, right? Like they just got thrown in a bonfire here, and somebody set a match, an interrogation light here, okay? So your person here is very much burdened and very much oppressed right now. So what are they burdened and oppressed about here with the Ten Wands? Oh, boy. What are they burdened about? It's not bad, but I never know what's going to happen. Yep. Judgment. Yep. So now this person here is having basically uh, an out-of-body experience here right now. They This person... 
This person, they're not having one. They want to have one. This person wants to leave their body. Literally. Because they're so burnt out. And they're tired of oppressing everything that they have not finished here in life. Even if it's with art projects, job projects, people situation projects. All the projects here. Okay? It's just like a total, like this person... It's like their whole life is kind of falling apart right now. They feel like it anyway. I'm not saying their life is falling apart, but they basically feel like it is. And I feel like this person is depressed. They're sleeping a lot. Mm -hmm. And they're sleeping a lot because they don't want to feel the pain of reality. So instead of being in reality, staying awake and feeling the pain, this person just slips away to, you know, subconscious land, and, and they sleep it off, okay? So I feel like this person's been doing a lot of sleeping as a result here of whatever this person had gotten told here, okay? Somebody really said something to this person that really pissed this person off here. And I feel like this person <sighs> did something here. Did, well, they did something to cause that. I don't know what it was, but they could have literally stepped out of another connection. So now this person's confused as a mother trucker. So what are they so confused at with the Seven of Cups? Mm. Hold on. Well, there's that Ten Swords. Oh boy, I gotta get these cards set up here right. <laughs> I want to show the cards, but I can't. Okay. So what are they so confused about? Well... The overthinking, that's what's been going on. Overthinking way too much. So basically, this person has put themselves in a self-imposed prison. They can get out of it, and I see that this person has gotten out of that, okay? Out of this confused energy. And why are they getting out of that? Well, because this person here has a strong, strong, strong desire here. Uh, it's like, it, it's a tower, but it's a different kind of tower here. It's an eruption here. So I feel like this person here, it's like, they're, they're, what I'd like to say, it's like this person is mm, at the end of a cycle here. At the end of, you know, breaking old habits, breaking old ties. It's a drastic change here, okay? So uh, there's some radical changes here beyond this person's control that they're going through here, Okay. Under this confused energy here. So, what is this, uh, let's see what this, uh, what is this, this eruption, the tower here? What is this end of the cycle? What's this ending of a cycle here? What is ending here? What is ending here? What is ending here is the seven of pentacles. Alright? Taking, it's this person's done... Taking time, taking a review. This person's tired of taking breaks here. So why are they so tired of taking breaks here? Why is this uh, Seven of Pentacles energy, why is this ending here? Why is this ending here? Because this person wants to come in and they want to make you an offer here with this Ace of Pentacles here. So they're done overthinking it. They're like, I'm done. I've been, th this is a cycle. This person overthinking is literally a cycle that this person does. This person is an overanalyzer, okay? I mean, big time. So, why is the devil here? Why is the obsession? What's this obsession about, please? What's this obsession about? It's a love obsession. Not only is it a love obsession, okay? It's a love obsession, but it's a... Like I said, this person... It's a passionate love obsession. This person has a passionate love obsession with you. Boy, Pisces. Passionate love obsession. And this card is fine, but I'll just put that there just for fun. <laughs> Even though there's nothing on it. I just never know. Okay, so this person's got a love obsession here for you. So why is the lovers down here in Pisces person's energy? Why is the lovers here? Yeah. Shit, Pisces. The lovers is here with the two of cups and the ace of wands. Literally. The two of you are in love, and the two of you have got an immense, an immense, immense amount of passion here 
toward the both of you here, okay? And I feel like you guys have already established some kind of uh, foundation here in this connection here. And I feel like the both of you are trying to use your intuition here to get out of some kind of conflicts here so that you both can come in alignment together here and both share your love here. But there's something here that you guys have literally, both of you have needed to leave here in order to find some peace and hope here and passion in the situation. Pisces, this is a passionate, this is a passionate obsession with you. This person's in love with you. But there's something over here that was said to this person. And I don't think that has anything to do with you, but it was here in the reading. So it comes out, and this is probably affected. Whatever was said here has affected this connection as well. And I don't know how in what way that is. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close it off. We're going to get the final messages, and then I'm going to do one card for each sign. What else do you want to tell Pisces? Sure. Yeah, this person's in love with you. This person wants you here. Reiterating, and there's something that was said here to this person here, Pisces. The Queen of Wands, this person finds you very attractive here, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and we'll grab, um, yeah. We'll do one card for each sign with a little meow meow. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> All right, Pisces, dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? They're very attracted to you. Cancer, how do you, sure, Cancer. Okay, Cancer here, <sighs> Cancer feels like you're overthinking, you're doing too much overthinking about this connection is what they think, okay, Scorp, I don't know what that means, but that's just what it is, okay, Scorpio is climbing the walls right now here, and I feel like Scorpio is very much... <sighs> Trying to figure out, figure you out, but they're in love with you here. But they're freaking out about something here. Aries. Sure. Aries is going to do something to get your attention here. Uh, Leo. Sure, Leo. Leo wants you and Leo's in love with you. Sagittarius. Saggy waggy Sagittarius, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure. Sagittarius finds you to be... Uh, very attractive here. Okay, okay. I can appreciate that. My deck's acting a little weird back here. What is going on? I don't know. Okay. Uh, Libra. Sure. Okay. Um, it seems like things are going good between you and Libra is all that's coming through. Aquarius. Sure. Aquarius is waiting for you to communicate to them. Uh, I miss Gemini. Gemini. Haha. -ha, I miss Gemini. Sometimes I miss them. Gemini feels like they messed up. Virgo! Virgo, Virgo. You and Virgo are not talking right now, but I feel like Virgo here uh, is trying to manifest you back into their life. Uh, Taurus! Taurus, sure. Okay, Taurus here has walked away. Let's go Cappy. Cappy, Cappy, how do you, how do you feel about Pisces? Cappy is feeling like a wounded warrior. So, Pisces, this has been your reading. Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. Tarot's adjourned.